Hello friends, it is Sunday, November 3rd, and I'm obviously not in the shop, and I obviously don't have a pipe, hopefully you can see what that is, the sun is so bright today, I'm getting a lot of glare, I, I did it again, I planned to make this video from the car, and I brought my camera along for the outside view, but I forgot to bring the SD card, so... Unfortunately, I can't show you what is really a beautiful, sunny November day. Uh, crisp, 51 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful weather. So, i am uh, I'll explain a bit why I'm in the car on a Sunday and why you didn't see me on Friday and all that. But for, right, for this moment, let me just get this guy started and we'll start driving. It's about one... Oh, <laughs> daylight savings time. It's about 12.30 on Sunday and I'm hoping to get home in time to watch the Eagles beat the Bears. Sorry. But that's just what's going to happen. And we'll, uh, we'll see if I can make it. I should be able to. But I would like to have this cigar. So I got a diesel because I'm just in the mood for something a little bit meaty. These are the original diesel. I, they, they have uh, the grind and the rage and a couple of others, I think, maybe. Um, but the original ones I've, I've always enjoyed. And they're reasonably priced, so... I think that's going about as good as it's going to go. So let's get out of here. I got the sunroof open, so hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea of how beautiful it is out here. And you can see some of the sky up there. Sorry about the, the single camera again. So this has been a good week in a lot of ways. Um, God, I forgot to mention last Sunday that I was going on Tuesday of this week to get my other eye taken care of in terms of the cataract surgery. So I had cataract procedure on my left eye, and now I have 20-20 vision in both eyes, which I'm very happy about. Um, <laughs> I do now require, absolutely require, uh, reading glasses at all times because if I need to see anything close up like if I need to look at a text message on my phone I can't see it unless I have reading glasses um, that's that's a trade-off you know I used to be able to do that but I couldn't see very far now I can see distance with no issue and I don't need glasses but I do have to carry the readers uh, and it's amazing how much I was able to get by with just the one eye and the severe cataract I could still read, but I can't do that anymore. So, that's the only negative. Uh, so I had to take off from work on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, it, one day for the procedure, the second day I had to go in for a follow-up, and it's an hour plus drive to the doctor's office, so it just made sense to take the two days. And I'm pretty much, you know, I've got some restrictions, like I can't lift over 20 pounds, and I'm not supposed to bend below the waist, but other than that, I'm, I'm in, you know, back, back to normal. So I'm happy about that. I did wind up losing a week in the shop because my wife won't, won't let me work in the shop this week. And eh, I, she's probably right. Now, the reason I'm out today is that I head off Tuesday and Wednesday. And then... We're, run, we're planning an experiment. We're running an experiment at work. For those of you that don't know, I, I'm, I am a scientist. And this experiment is a seven-day study. And it requires that somebody be there for four hours each day during the seven days. And that, of course, runs into a Saturday and Sunday. Now, I don't live very far from work. And I don't get to go in the lab very much anymore. I used to be a bench scientist now. Most of what I do is theoretical and, uh, you know, a lot of, like, people management type stuff. So, 
when an opportunity comes up to actually do some lab work, I get pretty excited about that. So I'm just trying to touch this up and drive at the same time. But you don't know how bad that is because you can't see where I'm going. So anyway, I um, I volunteered to, to take these two days and you know, I live close by, it's easy enough for me to do it, and the people that would have had to have come in on the weekend are happy that their boss is doing something nice for them. So, you know, it's, it's a win-win all around. So, on Friday, I was so focused on what I was going to be doing Saturday morning, because I'm, I'm, you know, to be honest, I'm excited by it. I, I, I like doing this kind of stuff, and it's been a while since I've been able to... Oh, I did touch that up. So I'm excited about that. My sense of time is all messed up because I wasn't at work on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I just completely forgot that Friday was Friday. <laughs> I got home and I'm, I'm eating dinner and I realized it was Friday and I had forgotten to make a, a drive video. So the fact that I couldn't be in the shop this morning because I had to be at work and I forgot about Friday. I figured I'd make a Sunday drive video. And here we are. And unfortunately, I don't have any shop update because there was very little time between my last update and getting the cataract surgery that I could actually do anything in the shop. So everything's where it was last week. Oh, these diesels are really nice. They're, they're, they're strong. If you're not a... If you don't like strong cigars, you probably would not like this at all. And by strong, I mean flavor. Um, they're very robust flavor profile. So I've got a couple new, um, well, one new and, and a couple of not frequently smoked tobaccos that I'm thinking about uh, doing a, a tobacco talk on you know, one of the tobacco talk Tuesdays so hopefully I'm going to be able to get a couple of those filmed in, in the coming weeks and we'll release them in time uh, I've actually got a couple of uh, projects piled up now that I'm going to start videoing as soon as I've got camera mount set up on, on the new bench so that, that'll be fun uh, one of them is something I'm very excited about. Uh, well, they're all something I'm very excited about. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick them apart right now. But there's, there's new content coming. I guess is what I'm trying to say. In case any of you are getting tired of just hearing me yak, uh, I'm getting tired of hearing me yak. But you know. So Halloween is coming, going again. And for me, Halloween has always been like the the the, sh the the not shotgun, the pistol firing at the beginning of a race to the end of the year because it just seems completely downhill now. And you know, I look at my calendar in between all the stuff I got to do by the end of the year and the time I'm taking off for vacation. And I'm taking a fair amount of vacation. I usually save it up for the end of the year. Yeah, but you, you, you put all that on the calendar and you realize, man, I got like a handful of days free or, or days worth of time free to do anything that's not already scheduled. Uh, so that makes this time at work interesting. And I really like... Um, squirreling away blocks of time so so for example this this weekend was great because yeah I had to be there for four hours but the truth is it, it's a thing where every hour I had to go into the lab do a little something and then I could go to my office for the remainder of that hour and then at the end of that hour I'd go back and I'd go into the lab and do a little something so that meant that I had you know essentially three three and a half hours of very quiet time all to myself in my office and I got a lot done uh, just, you know, paperwork, year-end reviews and things like that. Stuff that really eats up a lot of time. 
during the week or I wind up taking home with me at night and working on it at night. I don't like to do that. I worked a lot of nights and weekends. In fact, I, you know, from graduate school all the way up through my my first couple years at, in a job, I would work nights and weekends routinely. And it took a toll, you know, my wife uh, put up with it, but it was hard for her. And I finally got to a point, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or so, where I was able to say, no, I just don't do that anymore. And if something comes up, like this weekend did, or you know, we got a big deadline or something, sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch in and, and get the job done, but it's my personal time has become much more important to me than it ever was. That whole work-life balance thing is something that we always talk about and you know it's especially important when you're recruiting people you always talk about oh we we pay good attention to work-life balance um, but as you get older you start to think of it as life work balance and uh, yeah it's important it's healthy anyway um, so now we're on the, the race to the end of the year before you know it it'll be Thanksgiving well, I guess Veterans Day first, and then thank you. So, anyway, folks, I've given you all the update I have. Just wanted to say hello. Uh, let you know that not much is going on, and I'll see you next week. So, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Enjoy the week ahead. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now.